Question number four. Three thousand pounds is invested at an annual compound interest rate of 5%. This iterative process is used to work out how many years it takes for the investment to reach 3,500 pounds. So let's have a look at what this is talking about. And, I, and then it says here, this table shows some of the values generated by the iterative process. So I've got a flow diagram, and this is my input point. £3,000 is invested. N equals 1, that's just telling me this is my first iteration. This is my first part of the iteration. And then I have my input amount. And that's multiplied by 1.05 to give me my output amount. And we can see that there, 3,000. In the first iteration, it's multiplied by 1.05. And that 1.05, or 5%, and that gives me an output of 3,150. Just check that on the calculator to make sure that you've understood it properly. 3,000 times by 1.05 equals 3,150. So that confirms it. This is saying, is have I got more than £3,500 yet? If yes, stop the process. If no, I'm, this means I'm just on to my next iteration. And this bit here means, right, my old output, so the previous output is now becoming the input. They've helpfully shown that here. My previous output is now becoming my input. So all I, all I have to do is repeat the process for the second time. So here's my 3,150. I'm going to times it by 1.05. And my output is 3,307.5, or 3,307 pounds 50. Right. Now, that is then still not over... £3,500. So again, we go to the next stage of the iteration. So my output becomes my input, £3,307.50. And that's the third iteration. And I'm going to multiply that by 1.05, giving me 3,472.875. 3472.875. Don't round at this point. Is it over 3,500? No, it's not. So I'm on to my fourth iteration. My output becomes my input. So 3,472.875. And I multiply that by 1.05. That gives me 3,646.51875. And I am now over 3,500. So that means the process stops. Round values up to two decimal places, it says. Oh, I didn't read that. So you could have rounded this off at two decimal places. Like so, this would be eight eight, and this would be five two. So that's an error on my behalf, not fully reading the question before tackling it.